Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so beyond excited because we are finally getting some brand new 1OK Rock. It has been so long since I feel like we actually got something that was like just from them. And uh, hopefully that means there's an album on the way. But for right now we'll just we'll just deal with the song for right now. It's coming out now. Uh, this is called Delusion. Um, I think it's like... All, I guess we'll call it delusion all I mean these boys are so damn talented and um, I, I just I'm so thrilled to see Taka back I'm so excited so let's go ahead and just want some more time to dive right into this here we go <laughs> oh that's a cool way to start off song Oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. We are a minute, a little over a minute into the song. This might be one of the best songs I've heard from these guys since I first started reacting to them. This is absolutely astounding. And, like, I'm gonna have to watch a little bit more here to kind of figure it out, but it looks almost like we're kind of like seeing here this, like, especially this one shot back here. Um, let me go ahead and go back to it. This shot right here, we can see it's like we see like the like crowd going up against the police officers, and then if we go forward here a little bit, you can see they're gonna, like the police officers are gonna start like beating them. Yeah, see, it's like the the police officers like start beating them and stuff and whatnot. So it's like I don't know if this is supposed to be like an anthem of like I don't know why he would write an anthem though of like um. like police officers against us people and stuff and he was also saying like to he was saying about like delusional the problem is they don't have the lyrics here i know it's in english but it's like it's so much easier for me just to like be able to like have the captions there for me to point stuff out for you guys you know as i'm talking about it and the thing for me is it's like when i don't see the lyrics there i tend to pay more attention to the music video and whatnot and just like the uh um actual music going on because I'm a music producer I don't really work with lyrics that much so I'm, I usually get focused up on the actual music production so it's like it's so much better for me just to have the fucking lyrics there for me but damn it's okay we're gonna make it still work but let's keep going let's see what else let's see if this is gonna be maybe about. it might be something where I might have to uh, um, just wait till the end to kind of talk about it and see what we kind of get from the whole video first but anyways let's keep going sorry <laughs> It's that part right there. Oh, you scared that high register that Taka has is so legendary. And it's just, do it, oh, seeing this live is going to literally just transform people. Uh, not really transform, but like uh, uh, transcend people. That's what I want. It's going to transcend people because it's just so good. Hearing that live 
is just going to just stick straight into people's souls and just like hit them really hard and whole in their heart, their whole soul, their everything. And oh my gosh, just this part here is just so good. Oh, that drum feel. That was sick. Oh, damn. We gotta see that again. Holy shit. Damn good. Holy shit, guys. Right. Looks like they're going to start a tour soon. Which is interesting. Because this is... I don't know if they're planning on doing this... Because we're at the end of 2024. Unless if this was like something they posted a while back. Does it say when they posted this? No, it does not. Okay. But, I mean, honestly, if this is the, the, the uh, like coming of new music and potentially... Potentially a new album. I am so pumped. This is the kind of sound that really resonates with me with them. Like I love their ballady type stuff and the stuff that really hits you in the soul. And this is also, I think, the first. Sorry, let's do this. This is, I think, also the first time that I've also really felt resonated with them in an actual like audio recorded song. Like for me, every time I've reacted to 1OK Rock, it's usually been live stuff. And I've always been such a bigger fan of live stuff because for whatever reason, the way they construct. And they put together the live stuff is just so much better than like the um like the audio. But this song has just the power that you feel in those live shows in just this audio recording. And I feel like that means if this is that good in just the audio form, then I feel like the actual like performance of it in the future is gonna be mind boggling. I mean, honestly, it's it's literally gonna like transcend people, like I said before. Like, holy shit. <laughs> so also, in terms of the meaning, I think that as I continue watching and really, really focused in on the lyrics, I think I, I, I figured out that it's not, I feel like it's not so much the idea of looking at it more of like, you know, as literally as I did. I think instead of looking at it as more of like, oh, it was like the, you know, citizens versus the police officers. And the police officers were like just beating them for like, you know, you know, they, you saw that they were vandalizing the car and stuff and whatnot and rioting and whatnot. I don't think it was more so to be seen as, like, the, you know, law enforcement, whatever you want to say, versus the common people. I think it was more so to look at it as, you know, that was their way of representing one side of people's opinions and the other side of people's opinions. So they just went with a very over-exaggerated way of looking at it. So, you know, I think what they're saying is, you know, you see him saying, like, hey, we're leading the world, so come along with us. You know, in a way, he's almost saying, like, we the people are the ones that are, you know, kind of leading this world right now. Like, you know, and then, of course, the law enforcement is there to keep us in check, kind of, in a way. But also, beyond that, we all have our own opinions. So if you look at it in this drastic way of, like, oh, there's the, opinion, there's the opinions of the people versus, like, maybe the opinions of, like, law enforcement. But that could also be represented by other people's opinion. Or it could be like, you know, one-sided, you know, it's it's like the battle of like religion versus this religion. You know, this politic thing, this was this politic thing. You know, we all can have our own opinions and that is totally okay. That's totally fine. 
but we also have to consider each other's opinions and why we might think that way. Why might somebody have this opinion about this certain topic, you know, or why might somebody have a, a different opinion about this law or this religion or this whatever? And it's important that even if we all do have our separate ideologies and our beliefs, that we all stay united. You know, that's why he says, like, we're leading the world. We are the ones leading the world. The people are. Like, yes, we have people to keep us, I mean, I hate to say it in check, but, like, we have laws to keep us, like, you know, from having shit like this go down, where it's just pure rioting and people killing each other left and right over, like, opinions and stuff. And especially with things like so like social media now, it's become so much easier for you to just see people go on social media and just post their opinion and whatnot without any, you know, consequences and whatnot, and just see people bickering, going back and forth, back and forth. These are all just people sitting in their homes, on their phones, and who knows where's land, all just kind of going back and forth, arguing, and these people will never meet one another, and whatnot. And they're just going to argue. It's like, you don't know this person. This person doesn't know you. Why the hell are you all arguing over trying to make that person that doesn't even know you believe your opinion and you want them to believe your opinion? It just it doesn't make any sense. And I feel like it's gotten so much worse in social media these days. Which is why I, just, I don't share anything on social media ever about you know stuff that has to do with kind of stuff. Like any type of topic, really, it might be sensitive. But I think the important thing that, that um, Taka and One, uh, One OK Rock wants to, take, wants to take away from this is, you know, it's important that, yes, we all have our opinions and we're allowed to, but we have to also stick together. We can't turn on each other. We cannot do that. You know, like that is not okay. We have to, we, we are supposed to be one. We are supposed to be one whole in the entire country, entire world, whatever the case may be. And I think that's a fucking amazing message for us to have right now, especially with the, at least here in America, with us having the politics starting to come back around with the elections coming up soon. I think this is a very important message for us to have going forward, you know, and especially with all the wars going on too and whatnot and all the tensions between certain countries. This is a brilliant message and I major kudos to Taka for bringing this up for us all to really listen to and really take to heart. But um, as always, guys, I am so thrilled to see these guys come back. Hopefully this means new music is coming. And um, if not, then at least we can at least enjoy the song. And hopefully uh, maybe next year we'll get even more. So, yeah. But as always, guys, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please take time to drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And more than anything, I will go ahead and drop my 1OK Rock reactions for you guys over here. So you can check the um, stuff I've reacted to before. Um, I've, I've reacted to a, plent a plethora of stuff. So this is your first time seeing me react to 1OK Rock. Don't worry. I've got more for you guys to check out. So it will be another reaction playlist for you right here. But besides that, guys, more annoying. More important than anything, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alrighty, guys. Bye. <laughs>